Yolobo kapaya, ika panda yelebe kapaya, mando yelebe kianta yala branda baya. The Bible says uh, when the ark of the covenant uh, came into the house of Obedidom, uh, everybody in the house was blessed. Uh, Obedidom was blessed. Uh, his wife was blessed. Uh, his children were blessed. Uh, ah, the maid servants were blessed. Uh, even the animals were blessed. Uh, come on, pray tonight. Uh, let that be your portion in the name of Jesus, uh, and declare that tonight. Uh, let the ark of the Lord uh, come upon your house, uh, your home, uh, so everybody shall be blessed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I claim the rich blessings of the Lord uh, upon every member of my family uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody lift up your voice. Uh, the Bible says, uh, and the blessings of the Lord, uh, they make it rich uh, and add no sorrow unto it. Uh, from today, uh, there shall be no sorrow in your family. Uh, everybody shall be blessed uh, in the name of Jesus. Makonda yelebo shabranda baya, ika yelebo shabranda baya, libreka panda yelebe kapaya, Zonta Yelebe Kabaya, Ikayala Brosha Branta Yelebe Kabaya, Bare Kayanto Yolobo Sabranta Baya, Be Kayo Sabra Santa Baya, Barenta Yelebe Kayantaya, Zianto Yolobo Sabranta Baya, Ikayanto Yolobo Sabranta Baya, Be Kapanda Yelebe Kabaya, Brazon de Yelebe Kapandaya, Be Kapando Yolobo Sabranta Baya, Libre Kapanda Yelebe Kabaya, Ikayala Brazon de Yelebe Kabaya, Anto Yolobo Sabranta Baya. Ikaya la brazanda bea, baro santa yelebe kapaya, libre kapanda yelebe kapaya, zando yolobo shabranda baya, ikaya la brazanda yelebe kapaya, libre kapanda yala baya, brazanta yelebe kapanda ya, azile berianta yala branda baya, manto yolobo shabranto yelebe kapaya, ikapando yolobo kapaya, breza brazanta yala baya, manto yelebe kianta yala branda baya, ikoyelebe rianta yelebe kapaya, man. Do you love Shabranta Baya? Ikaya la Babo Sabranta Baya, Baro Santa Yelebe Kabaya, Breza Branto Yolobo Kayanda Yalabaya. I claim the blessings of the Lord upon every member of my family in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Maron Te Yelebe Shabranta Yelebe Kabaya. This prayer you are praying, it will change the destiny of your family in the name of Jesus. This prayer you are praying, it will do somebody good uh, in your family in the name of Jesus. Uh, this prayer you are praying, uh, it is visiting somebody in your family uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, come on, lift it up unto the Lord. Uh, lift it up unto the Lord uh, and declare that every member of your family uh, ah, you are the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, you are the New Testament Ark of the Covenant. Uh, ah, filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and the power of God. Uh, as the Lord blesses you, uh, everybody shall be blessed. Uh, everybody it shall be blessed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the pressure of the family, uh, it will not rest upon you again. Uh, why? Because uh, everybody is blessed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the demand of the family, uh, it will not rest upon you again. Uh, why? Because everybody is blessed. Uh, come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, I pray your blessings uh, upon everyone in my family, oh God. Uh, in in the name of Jesus, libre kapando yelebo shabranda baya, ikayala brasanta yelebe kapaya. In the name of Jesus, prayer number five. Lift up your voice and pray and decree that from now on, you and your family, you will walk in the daily blessings of the Lord. Makanda yelebo shabranda baya, the daily blessings of the Lord. Every day, every day, every day, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless your family. In the name of Jesus.
Likapanda yelebe kabaya, brazanda yelebe kabaya, brazanto yolobo kabanda ya, brazanta yelebe kabaya, ikapanda yelebe kabaya, zabrasonda yelebe kabaya. I pray and decree that from now on, ah, uh, myself and my family, we shall walk under the daily blessings of the Lord. We shall walk under the daily blessings of the Lord. Every day of our lives, we shall be blessed. Every day of our lives. We shall be blessed uh, every day of our lives. Uh, we shall be blessed uh, every day of our lives. Uh, we shall be blessed uh, every day of our lives. Uh, we shall be blessed. Uh, that is why the Bible says, uh, and goodness and mercy, uh, they shall follow us uh, all the days of our lives. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, according to the word of the Lord, uh, in Psalm 23 and verse 6, uh, every day of our lives, uh, goodness and mercy shall follow us. Uh, come on, lift up your voice. Uh, I and decree uh, uh, that from now on, uh, you and your family, uh, you will walk uh, under the daily blessings of the Lord. Libre kapanda yelebo shabranda baya, ikayan toyolobo shabranda baya, bi ikayan toyolobo shabranda baya, ikayala brasanda yelebe kabaya, breza brosa granta yala baya, anta yelebo shabranda baya, libre kapanda yala baya, mantoyolobo shabranda baya, ikayala babo shabranta baya, anta Yelebe kayanta yelebe kabaya, libre kapanda yelebe kabaya, labra santa yelebo kabaya, anta yolobo shabranda bea, ikaya labra santa yelebe kabaya, libre kapando yolobo shabranda bea, manto yolobo shabranda yelebe kabaya, ikapando yolobo kabaya, breza branto yolobo shabranda bea, ikapando yolobo shabranda bea, anta yelebe kabanda yelebe kabaya, shilebe de berianda ya, libre kayanto yolobo shabranda Branda baya, ikaya la brosha brando yelebe kabaya, bilianto yolobo shabranda baya, ikaya la brazanta yelebe kabaya, ikaya la brosha branta baya la baya. The daily blessings of the Lord upon your life, upon your family, in the name of Jesus. Likaya la brosha branta yelebe kabaya, anda yelebe kapanda yelebe kabaya. I decree in the name of Jesus that from today, ah, we shall not lack anything. Myself and my family. Oh God, we will not lack anything because of the daily provision of the Lord. We declare that from today we shall receive the supply of heaven in the name of Jesus. We declare that from today it shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. We declare that from today the heaven shall be open unto us. We shall walk under the daily provision of heaven in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Branta Yalabaya, Mantoyo Lobo Shabranta Baya, Ikayala Babo Shabranta Yalabaya, Bekatoza Granta Yeleme Kabaya, Ikayala Baba Shanta Yalabaya, Bantoyo Leberiandaya, Breze Breka Panda Yeleme Kabaya, Zantoyo Lobo Shabranta Baya, Baroza Branta Yeleme Kabaya, Bantoyo Lobo Shabranta Yeleme Kabaya, Ikapanda Yeleme Kabaya, Brasanta Yeleme Kayanda Yeleme Kabaya, Baroza Brantoyo Lobo Shig. Kapaya, Anda Yelebe Kapanda Yalaba Kabaya, Azenda Yelebe Kapaya, Libre Kapando Yolobo Shabranda Baya, Manto Yolobo Shabranda Bea, Ikayanto Yolobo Shabranda Yelebe Kabaya, Anda Yelebe Kapanda Yelebe Kabaya, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lift up your two hands. You want to pray into the church? Lift up your two hands. Say in the name of Jesus, tonight, O oh Lord. As a church, we pray and we declare that, Lord, every member of this church will have a testimony. Oh, God, give every member a testimony in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray in the name of Jesus for your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Whatever testimony you need, come on, pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that Jehovah our God, he will give us a testimony. Every member of the church will have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Maro Zabranto Yolobo Shabranda Baya 
Ikapando yelebe kabaya. Lebre kapanda yalabaya. Masonde yelebe kabaya. Breza branto yelebe kabaya. Whatsoever testimony you need. Come on, lift up your voice. And declare it unto the Lord. And declare it unto the Lord. And declare that testimony in the name of Jesus. Some of you you need. Ah, business testimonies. Financial testimonies. Whatever testimony you need. Come on, lift up your voice. Pray, clap your hands. And decree it into your life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give us a testimony. Give the church a testimony. Give the members a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Mekapando yelebe kapaya. Labranson de yelebe kapaya. Mando yolobo shabranda baya. Ikapanda yelebe kapaya. Zabranto yelebe shabranda baya. Manta yelebe kapanda ya. Labrasanda yelebe kapaya. Ikayanto yolobo shabranda baya. Ikayala brasanta yelebe kapaya. Bason de yelebe kapaya. Ikapanda yelebe ya. Libre kapando yolobo shabranda baya. Mando yelebe kapanda ya. Brasanta yelebe kapaya. La breza branto yolobo kapaya. Zabranto yolobo shabranda baya. Ikapanda yelebe kapaya. Brason ta yelebe kapaya. Ikayala bo shabranto yelebe kapaya. Manto yolobo shabranda yelebe kapaya. Ikayala brasan tapaya. Your testimony is coming up. Your testimony is coming up. You are receiving a testimony. God is giving you a testimony in the name of Jesus. Financial testimony, marital testimony, academic testimony, business testimony, traveling testimony, whatever testimony. Come on, lift up your voice and claim it and declare in the name of Jesus. It is done for you right now. Libre kabanda ya, brason te yelebe kabaya, ikayanto yolobo shabranda baya, ikayala brason ta yelebe kabaya, breza branto yolobo kabaya, ikayala brason ta yelebe kabaya, ikayanto yolobo shabranda baya, manto yolobo shabranda baya, ikayala brason ta baya, bika pando yolobe kabaya, brason ta yelebe kabaya. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, O oh Lord, as I pray, clapping my hands, O oh Lord, let your good purposes concerning my life be established in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and begin to pray that the purposes of the Lord concerning your life, let it be established in the mighty name of Jesus, not the purposes of the devil. We declare in the name of Jesus, only the counsel of the Lord shall stand in your life. Only the purposes of the Lord concerning your life, it shall stand, it shall be established, it shall, be, it shall prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, clap your hands, and declare that tonight, oh God, let your purposes are concerning my life, let it be established, for I has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man, that which the Lord has prepared, and the Bible says, and God shall reveal unto them, ah, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, and pray tonight, let the purposes of the Lord, let the counsel of the Lord, let it stand, let it prevail, let it be established in the name of Jesus. Bikayanto yolobo shabranda baya, breza brason ta yelebe kabaya, ane kayon ta yelebe kabaya, la brason te yelebe kabaya, la brason te yelebe kapanda ya, le bre kapando yolobo shabranda baya, le bre kapanda yelebe kabaya, la brason te yelebe kabaya, ikaya la brason da yala baya, manto yolobo shabranda baya, ikayanto yolobo shabranda baya, ikayelebe kapanda ya, brason ta yelebe kabaya. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands please. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight oh Lord. As we pray. Oh God. Let your hand of power. 
be strong upon our nation uh, uh, to destroy uh, any orchestration uh, of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Uh, clap your hands and pray uh, that the hand of the Lord uh, will be strong upon our nation uh, uh, against uh, the orchestrations of the enemy uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the orchestration of the enemy, uh, let the hand of the Lord uh, prevail against it uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, somebody pray, somebody pray. Uh, and we declare uh, uh, that the enemy will not succeed. Uh, in the orchestrations of the enemy, uh, come on, clap your hands uh, and declare that the hand of the Lord uh, shall prevail uh, against orchestrations uh, of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Uh, lift up your voice, pray uh, uh, that the coming election uh, it shall be free, uh, it shall be fair, uh, uh, there shall be no violence uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, come on, pray uh, and commit elections uh, uh, next week into the hands of the Lord. Uh, pray that angels of God uh, will be released from heaven uh, uh, to take charge uh, of their elections. Uh, uh, they will be positioned uh, at the polling stations uh, in the various places. Uh, come on, commit uh, all their constituencies uh, into the hands of the Lord. Uh, all their regions uh, into the hands of the Lord. Uh, we declare total peace uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, there shall be no fighting. Uh, there shall be no violence uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, come on, pray. Father, O oh God, come next week, O oh God. We are committing the destiny of this nation into your hands, O oh God. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will bless this land one more time. You will deliver this nation, O oh God, from any orchestration of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, for a peaceful election. We pray that, Lord, it shall be free and fair. We pray against violence. Any incitement of the enemy. Come on, we pray against it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please lift up your hands. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 4. That after Jesus had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Just as he, fi he finished with the fasting. Then the enemy came tempting him. Somebody say amen. I pray that after the fast. Nothing strange will happen to your life. We are going to pray that as we bring the fast to a close this week, whatsoever is the plan of the enemy, it will not stand in your life. Can I hear somebody say amen? I see you escaping the devices of the enemy. I see you escaping the temptations of the enemy. I see God delivering you in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a big amen unto the Lord. Say in the name of Jesus, tonight, O oh Lord, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, as we bring the fast to an end uh, this weekend, O oh God, uh, 
O oh Lord, whatsoever is the plans of the enemy against my life, Father, arise and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I must sing Tayelebe Kapaya, Libre Kapanda Yalabaya. I don't know the kind of temptation, I don't know the kind of attack the enemy will bring your way, but as you bring the first to an end this weekend, ah, may the Lord deliver you, 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 may the Lord deliver you right now, right now, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever shall be the schemes of the enemy, our Lord arise, Lord scatter them, Lord deliver your children, Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus. Brasanda yelebe kabaya, Braza branto yelebe kabaya, Anta yelebe shabranda baya, Ikaya la brasanda yelebe kabaya, Manto yolobo shabranda baya, Ikaya la brasanta baya, Manto yolobo shabranda baya, Ikaya la brasanta baya, Mika pando yelebe kabaya, Ikaya la brasanta baya, Bareka banda yelebe kabaya, Anto yolobo shabranda baya, Ika panda yelebe kabaya, Ikaya lobo shabranta baya, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. The final prayer. I want you to pray into the year 2017. Can I hear somebody say amen? Sister, don't wait for 31st night before you pray or you make whatever. This is the time for you to release prayer into 2017. Can I hear somebody say amen? Go ahead of all things. Just like Moses said to the Lord, if your presence does not go with us, we are going nowhere. Can I hear somebody say amen? I say, can I? And 2017 is going to be a glorious year for you. I declare that 2017 it shall be the best of your years in the name of Jesus. In 2017, there shall be no struggling in your life. May the Lord take control over every form of struggling in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare that as you enter into 2017, may Jehovah your God rather struggle for you. Shout I receive it. Shout I receive it. As you step foot in 2017, in the door that is closed, by the finger of God, may it be opened in the name of Jesus. May it be opened in the name of Jesus. I declare to you that from the 1st of January, right through 31st December 2017, all the days and the weeks of your life, you will see the glory of the Lord. I say you will see the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I declare into your life that in the year 2017, anything that has to do with sorrow, may the Lord turn it around. Hallelujah. We are going to pray into 2017. Prophesy into 2017. Hallelujah. Sister, whatever you want to see happening for you in 2017, this is the time for you to declare it. This is the time for you to declare it. This is the time for you to declare it. This is the time. And somebody here, listen to me, you will encounter some favor that you have never seen before in the year 2017. If I were you, I would shout a big amen unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I sense in my spirit uh, that favor will hit the people of God uh, from every side. Uh, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And in the year 2017, uh, may your enemies become your friends. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. 2017 is a good year. It is a good year. It is a good year. 
I don't know about you, but we have we can see already into 2017. May you have the eyes of an eagle into the new year 2017. May you fly as an eagle into the new year in 2017. Shout a big amen unto the Lord. Prophesy into 2017. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the word of the Lord, I prophesy into the new year, 2017, concerning my life, concerning my family, concerning my business. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands and pray and release prophecy into 2017. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go ahead into 2017. Come on, from January, from February, April, ah, February, January, March. Come on, pray right now in the name of Jesus. Speak into January. Speak into February. Speak into March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Come on, declare, decree right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Santa Yalabaya, Mantoyo Lobo Shabranda Baya, Ikayalababa, Santo Yelebe Kabaya, Berianta Yalabaya, Santo Yolobo Shabranda Baya. What is it that you want to see in January 2017, in February, in March, in April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December? Come on, pray. Come on, take hold of the days, take hold of the weeks, take hold of the months. In the name of Jesus, la grace Santa Yeleme Kabaya, Baro Santa Yeleme Kabaya, Ikaya la Babo Sabranta Yeleme Kabaya, Manta Yeleme Rianda Ya, Bra Santa Yeleme Kabaya, Ikaya la Bra Santa Yalabaya, Manta Yeleme Rianda Ya, Breze Breka Yanta Yalababaya, Azonda Yeleme Kabaya. In the name of Jesus, stretch forth your hands over your request. We are lifting it before the Lord. And please, if you don't have your request here, make sure you bring, you bring your request on the altar. Because on Thursday, after prayer and after the meeting, we are going to set fire on the requests. Somebody say amen. And the smoke of your request will ascend unto the Lord. And God will descend with a miracle. Can I hear somebody say amen? I don't know, but this is one prayer, this is one request uh, we have been praying, and I have a strong witness in my spirit that God is going to give us testimonies and miracles. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Stretch forth your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, oh Lord, as we pray, oh God, hear us from heaven concerning our request and bless us uh, with our miracles uh, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Pray right now uh, for the next two minutes uh, in the name of Jesus. Maranto yolobo shabranda belia ikayalabra santa yelebe kabaya likayalabra santa belebe kabaya labrosa branto yolobo shabranda baya ikayalabra santa belebe kabaya brasonde yelebe kabaya libre kapanda yelebe kabaya labrasonda yelebe kabaya and Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Matonde Yelebe Kabaya, Mikayanto Yelebe Kiandaya, Brazanta Yelebe Kabaya. I can hear your voice. Ah, if your request is on the altar, then lift up your voice and pray. Believe in God. Have the eye of faith that God is releasing your miracle in the name of Jesus. Likayala Brosha Pranta Yalabaya, and the Yelebe Kaya. Ya zabranta baya, ikaya sonta yelebe kabaya, bre zabranto yolobo shabranta baya, bare kayanto yolobo shabranta baya, me kayanta yelebe kabaya, be kato zabranta baya, me kayanto yolobo shabranta baya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your hands are lifted unto the Lord. Say, Heavenly Father, tonight I bless your name. And thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, say amen.
We want to just lift your voice in worship tonight. We want to thank God for his grace and his mercies upon our lives. We want to thank him that any time we seek his face, he answers us. Just come on, lift your voice and just begin to thank the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise tonight. We worship you. We exalt your name. Come on, pray in the spirit. Father, we worship you tonight. We honor you. Manderebeya, Sanderebeya, lift your voice in worship. Lift your voice in worship. We worship you from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. We worship, we worship. Yeah, lift your voice and worship. Lift your voice and worship. We worship, we worship, we worship you tonight. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, me cry, sorry, not to you, say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm fine, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, lift your voice and sing with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make cry. Sorry. Not to you. Say, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, 
tonight we ask for your hand of grace and blessings upon this service in Jesus name Amen please be seated praise the name of the Lord are you happy to be in church let's put our hands together unto the Lord praise the name of the Lord well on behalf of our general overseer Reverend Steve Mensah we welcome all of you to the tenth day of our 14 days of prayer and fasting the team is finishing well and we are trusting God to finish well can I hear somebody say amen, amen. Reverend Steve Mensah is going to Cape Coast to minister at uh, Fountain Gate Chapel and uh, God willing he will be back with us tomorrow somebody say amen, amen. hallelujah well the servant of the Lord is in the building tonight. Oh, you are not clapping at all. Yesterday, he was awesome in this place. God used him mightily in the preaching of the word and the prophetic declaration. This morning, at the morning service, it was something else preach on the message being filled with the Holy Spirit and I was telling somebody that we experience the Pentecost you know the days the, when, 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 when the Holy Ghost came it was something somebody say amen and we were filled one more time with the Holy Spirit tonight I don't know what God is going to use him to speak to us but I believe that God has given him a word for us and the unction and grace of the Lord is upon his life all the way from Nigeria ladies and gentlemen with a clap offering unto the Lord let's welcome Bishop Matthew Omodiade put your hands together for him Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. Wow, wow. This is the day the Lord has made. And we shall be rejoicing and be glad consistently in it. Because God has shown us favor. God has been good to us. Has He been good to you? Lift your two hands and give Him praise and say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. 
thank you for your presence here. Thank you for speaking your word to me. The Bible says the entrance of the word of God. Give it light and give it understanding to the simple. I pray tonight that the word of God will take you from where you are to where God is waiting for you in the name of Jesus. Let God manifest his glory in your life. Let God manifest his power in your life. Let favor be your heritage tonight. Can I hear somebody shout a loud amen? amen. Give Jesus a big hand of praise as you take your seats. Hallelujah. I want to say I'm so, so delighted that one more time I'm standing in your presence to give you God's agenda for the moment. This is God's verdict for now. Anytime God gives his verdict, the devil surrenders. The word of God is the verdict of God. The agenda of divinity. There is no argument against the verdict from heaven. If God's word say you are healed, you are healed. If God's word say you are a champion, you are a champion. It doesn't matter your experience. What matters is your destiny. Your destiny is superior to your experience. Am I speaking to somebody here? So whatsoever the enemy has said tonight, the latest verdict from heaven shall cancel the voice of the enemy in your life. I, I suspect there is a son of mine in this house, a son of mine, Pastor Frederick, is he around? Let me see you wave your hand. Okay, God bless you. Please give him a clap of praise. God bless you. God bless you. He told me he was coming to this meeting. God bless you, man of God. Tonight, I will be speaking on the Jabez generation. And I'd like your hearts to be open because this is your time. Somebody say, this is my time. Say it like you mean it. This is my time. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This is your time. If there is any time that is good to prosper, it is now. If there is any time that is good to have victory, it is now. If there is any time to enjoy the favor of God, it is now. Can I tell you that 33 days to finish this year, God will lift you beyond your efforts. Jabez generation. The church is going to experience a tornado of God's glory in the end time. A tornado of God's glory. Every form of delay to expectation shall be destroyed. Every form of oppression by reason of satanic mandate shall be broken. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. This is the time this is the time to be at your best. This is the time to take what belongs to you. Everything God has said about you are declared by the power of the Holy Ghost. They are coming to pass in your life. They are coming to pass in your life. The louder your amen, the faster you receive them. The Jabez generation, you got to know that the story of Jabez is a completely new orientation for the church, for the New Testament church. The story of Jabez. Jabez is a name in the Old Testament, but a spirit in the New Testament. A principle for believers who understand their onus to grasp everything God has promised them. Yes. Jabez operated in the Old Testament. But Jesus had come to give us the Jabez grace. Jabez is a grace. Jabez is a principle. Jabez is an agenda for the church. When we are cheated, when we are downcasted, we get up from our low levels, from our backside, and take the front side of life 
you are enjoying the Jabez anointing. Jabez came from behind and became the most renowned in Judah. That's the Jabez grace. Though your beginning was small, but your later end shall greatly increase. That's the Jabez anointing. You started small. Everybody saw you as small. They described you as nothing. But suddenly, with the wind of God, you overtook everybody and stood at the right side of life. That is where you are going from now. I declare that your 2017 will be far above your 2016. If you are the person I'm talking to, shout a loud amen. That the Jabez grace. Jabez is a man that came from behind and took his place in destiny. He took his place in destiny. The Jabez grace. Jabez is, you know, when we talk of Jabez, we speak of experience versus destiny. We talk of experience. What you are seeing now, what you are passing through now, the debt you are in, the problems you are in, the money that is not forthcoming, the business that is not answering, the oppressions you suffer in the now, the prayers and the fasting that is not bringing forth what you really desire, your present condition versus your destiny. You look at your destiny, it's great. You look at your destiny, it's wonderful. But you compare it to your experience. There is no chemistry. There is no synergy. There is no agreement, no consonance between your destiny and your experience. So the only thing that can marry them together is the Jabez anointing. And that is what we have come to enjoy tonight. Can I prophesy to somebody? After this meeting... God will take you without your effort to the top. Without your effort. Somebody said, without my effort. It's not your effort. It's God's decided agenda. There is an agenda working on your behalf. Oh, come on, you don't get what I'm saying. There is an agenda working on your behalf. You are not there when it was decided. God has decided that your place is at the top. I decree upon you by this time in December 25 on the Christmas day you will see yourself landing at the top. Wave your hand and say I receive it by fire. The Jabez grace is in this house. The Jabez anointing is in this house. Yesterday while I was speaking the Holy Ghost impressed into my spirit. He said tell them about the Jabez anointing. Somebody is ready for promotion. Somebody is ready for uplifting. Somebody is ready to be taken to the top. There is going to be a catapulting from the back side to the front side. If you are the one, wave your hand and say, receive it. The Jabez anointing. The Bible says, he sent his word and his word healed them. His word healed them. His word healed them. So it is not your effort that brings healing. It's his word. You receive his word. You become a commander in your world. You receive God's word. You become a commander in your world. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So your destiny. Somebody say my destiny. Is superior to your experience. Your destiny. Is superior to your experience. The devil fights us with our experiences. But God encourages us with our destiny. It depends on which one is having rule over your mind. The devil fights us with our experience. Where we are. Who we see. What we have. What we don't have. The things that befall us. They are part of our experiences. That was the state of Jabez. I'm going to tell you three things that Jabez did that made Jabez became a star in the generation. Three things. But let me quickly remind you that before you came, your destiny is older than your age. I speak to somebody here. 
that from now on you will live in your destiny. I say you will enter into your destiny. Your destiny is superior to your age. Your destiny is older than your age. Because your destiny was intact before God brought you. In other words, you are finished before he started you. That is why everything that is happening is according to the plan. When you want to build a building, the architect designs the plan. And then everything is designed. So, whatsoever block or cement and whatsoever is put in space is according to the plan. No matter what the devil does right now in your life, it is according to plan. There is a plan before the building started. Am I talking to somebody here? From this day, the victory of your life has started. I declare, whatsoever is not planted by God in your life is uprooted this night. I said it's uprooted this night. You will not wake up tomorrow morning and find that oppression in your life. Can I hear somebody say, I receive it right now. The power of God is in this auditorium. I can feel the anointing very strongly. Jabez had a destiny. Now, do you know that in Matthew chapter 8 verse 17, the Bible says, He himself took our infirmity and bore our diseases. That's destiny. That's destiny matters. Why am I still sick? Your sickness is experience. The word of God for your life is your destiny. He has taken the sickness before it came to you. He took it far long ago before the sickness of age. So everything you are suffering right now, oppression of your business, sickness in your body, family squabbles, lock jams, in, you know, oppressions of your life, whatsoever you are suffering right now has been long taken. It has been long taken. Before you started the experience, destiny has taken it away. So from this night, as your understanding is opened, I declare you will not see it anymore in your life. Have you come across Psalm 119? Verse 109. Psalm 119. Verse 109. He said, my soul, my destiny is continually in my hand. That is why I do not forget your word. My destiny, my soul is continually in my hand. There is no destiny in the hand of the devil. I'm speaking of champions here. Do you know that these 14 days has prepared you for glorious onslaught in 2017? Oh, you didn't know. There are certain things you will not work for. They will be delivered to you. There are certain prayers you didn't cry over. But God will give them to you. By reason of the activation of your destiny. Your destiny is being activated today. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That's the word of God. Jabez suffered. I'd like to take you to 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9. Let's see Jabez. 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9. First Chronicles chapter 4. Verse 9. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I like you to mark every word, every tense the Bible is using. If you look at the, the word, the verb in that statement, was. Jabez was more honorable. Jabez was. When you say somebody was more honorable, what you are saying is that in spite of this man's condition now, he was formerly more honorable. In other words, in spite of his poverty, in spite of his downcastedness, he used to be very rich. Even though he had no money now, even though he's suffering now, 
He was a rich man. But the question is, had Jabez ever existed before? So how come the Bible says he was more honorable? When was that? When was Jabez more honorable? Nobody knew Jabez before. This is the first time that Jabez was introduced to the church. So when was he more honorable? God was writing here by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost not to tell us about the yesterday of Jabez because Jabez never had a yesterday. Jabez was born poor. The father of Jabez never surfaced. Jabez never had a father. We didn't know the father. Perhaps the mother was a harlot. And then Jabez came to this earth with suffering. Jabez never had a house. Jabez at this stage was about 40 years. Never had any beautiful upbringing. How come that he was more honorable? Where was the was? Jabez never had a yesterday. He was poor from birth. So, when was he more honorable? When was he rich? When was he prospered? But that is the way God deals with us. Listen to me. The church got to know that God does not introduce you by where you are. He introduced you from where you are coming from. God does not introduce you from what you have in your hand. He introduced you from what he has made you to be. That is the way he has made you to be. Life can change it. But it is not changed in God's calendar. It's a matter of time. Am I speaking to somebody here? You may think you are suffering, but it's a matter of time. Because ultimately, you will become what God has said you were before you were born. So God introduced Jabez to us based on who he was in eternity past before the mother conceived him. The Bible says, before your mother conceived you, I knew you. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 and 5. He said, before your mother conceived you in the womb, I knew you. That was, it was, God was speaking to Jeremiah. He said, I, I have ordained you. I've already ordained you a prophet before your mother conceived you. But life is wicked. You can come from your mother's womb, already ordained prophet. The signet and the sign and the stamp of a prophet is on your head. But life can turn you into a carpenter. You can become an architect and suffer. Whereas you are a prophet, because if you are not in your line of destiny, you cannot prosper. But something can turn you around and you begin to make ends meet through just anything you find your hands to do. Whereas the ordination of a prophet is on your head. I'm speaking to somebody right now that whatsoever God has ordained you to be, you are becoming that thing from this night. God will open your eyes to show you the revelation of yourself. The greatest revelation a man can receive is the revelation of God's plan for his life. Am I talking to somebody here? It's not what people say about you. It's not what the world says about you. It's not what the economy of Ghana says about you. It's what God had said before you were born. Can I hear somebody scream, Amen? Jabez was more honorable. When God thought about Jabez, he created him in honor. He formed him in honor. He packaged him in honor. He said, you are going to the world to show forth my honor, to show forth my praise. You are going to the world, Jabez, to become the epitome of modesty and glorious destiny. You are going to the earth, Jabez, get ready. And Jabez came. Unfortunately, he came from the wrong source. Jabez came from the wrong source. Do you know what you are suffering today? It's the manipulation of certain people that were not supposed to be around you. But give it a time. Time is an agent of revelation. It's a matter of time. <laughs> it's a matter of time. You can't oppress a king forever. 
A farmer went to the bush and took the egg of an eagle, joined it with the eggs of chickens. And then eventually the, the eagle mother, the chicken mother hen, hatched the egg. And then an eaglet came out of one and then mixed up with other chickens. Every time the eagle, the eaglet will separate himself, always looking up, looking up. And then the other chickens will be wondering, why are you always looking up? We are looking down. We want to eat from the depths of the floor. We want to eat from the debris of the dust beams. Why is it that you, you are looking up? That is his place. That is the place of the eagle. The eagle is not supposed to eat from the dust bay. The eagle saw us in the air. Do you know why you are hungry? Why sometimes you are dissatisfied? Why sometimes it looks like you are proud? Because you cannot contain with the levels other people are rejoicing. The reason why you are, you want to go up, something is moving you. You are just dissatisfied and unrest in your heart. It's because your place is up there. I speak to somebody there. Go up in the name of Jesus. Jabez was more honorable, but unfortunately, poor Jabez, who God has packaged, who had great and beautiful destiny, came from a wrong source. The mother called him sorrow. The mother changed the star. Didn't the Bible say that in sorrow shall a woman deliver a child? The Bible said that in Genesis chapter 3. He said, in thy childbearing, you shall suffer sorrow. That was one of the punishments of Eve. When she gave the man the fruit to eat. So God caused her. Not a cause of death, but a cause of pain. So if this woman felt pain when she was delivering Jabez, why would she take the vengeance upon the little boy? Why would she put the vengeance on the boy? The innocent child. So you can see that it was not just the woman. The devil used the mother. The devil must find something to use to distort your destiny. He looks for something. Sometimes he uses space. He uses, the, the, he uses anything possible to make sure that he, he takes your mind, your spirit, your life away from the original plan of God. The original plan. Do you know what is called prosperity? It's entering into the original plan. You were not created to be poor. You were not created to languish and to cry. The original plan is that by the age you are now, you should enter into a serious breakthrough. And I'm coming to tell somebody that it's not late yet. Am I speaking to somebody here? I'm looking for that champion. I'm looking for that prosperous champion who is still borrowing money. Who life is still oppressing. God sent me to you. I'm looking for that person who is supposed to lend money to nations but is still borrowing money from the banks. I'm looking for that person. God said, tell him you are a Jabez. You are so rising up. Things are going to support you. Evil enemies will support you. Men and women will become ladders for you to climb up. Take what I'm saying. It is from the oven of the Holy Spirit. Am I talking to somebody here? The time of your groaning is over. The time of your suffering is over. The time of your tears, secret tears is over. I speak that to you in the name of Jesus. Jabez was more honorable. But his mother, his mother cornered the honor and called him sorrow. And Jabez suffered from year one, year two, year 25, year 30. Jabez was carrying the, the problem the mother placed on him. Jabez suffered. Jabez suffered until when Jabez now did three things that changed his complete destiny and placed him on the originality of God's plan for his life. The church got to know that Jesus has paid the price. From when Jesus died and said, it is finished, the destiny of the church was delivered to them. We had a better destiny. You are at the forefront of supernatural nature. 
You are not ordinary. Come and say, I'm not ordinary. From this day onward, you will experience things you never prayed about. Oh, come on. Come on. We are moving to our place. You are taking your place. You are taking your place in destiny. Jabez found out three things. Number one. Number one. Jabez asked question about himself. He asked question. That was the first thing Jabez did. Can I speak to you, ladies and gentlemen? The church is full of followers without asking questions. You don't ask questions. Who am I? Who am I? The day you know who you are, you will take your place in destiny. Who am I? Find out who you are. I'm not just a born again. I'm not just a member of the CEM. I'm not just a pastor. Who am I in God's agenda? Who am I? That is what empowers you. Listen to me. The introduction you give about yourself is the raw material the Holy Ghost works with. The raw material the Holy Ghost works with. Can I say this to somebody here? The Holy Ghost cannot do more than what you know about yourself. Your knowledge can inhibit the workings of the Spirit. If you don't have the right knowledge about who you are, you limit the work of the Spirit of God in your life. He may love you, but he cannot partner with you. After all, you love your children, but you can't do business with them. You can't take a million dollars and give to your child, no matter how much you love that child. Because he's ignorant. She's ignorant. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 4, verse 1, it said, as a child, even though he's the heir of all of the kingdom, he said, as long as he remained a child, he's nothing different from a servant. It, it's not different from a servant. Oh, come on. In other words, the word servant in that scripture is doulos in the Greek. It means slave. Even though he's a child, as long as he does not have understanding, he doesn't know his status. He doesn't know who he is. He has not discovered himself. He's nothing different from a slave. Do you know that there are many children of God in the house of God today who are nothing different from slaves? And that is why they pray, Oh God, when will you help me? Oh God, see me. Oh God, help me. Oh God, give me. Oh God, forgive me. Oh God, give me. Oh God, forgive me. It's either give me or forgive me. That's a slavery mentality. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, it says, all things are yours. But the labor of a foolish man weareth everybody. He does not know how to enter into the city. All things are yours, but you don't know how to catch them. You don't know how to reach them. You don't know how to access them. Because you really don't know who you are. Oh, come on. Stop knowing too much about God. Know about yourself. People want to know about God. They read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. They are looking. You can't finish knowing God. So you know yourself first. It's more important to know yourself than to know God. Yes. Because no matter how you know God and you don't know yourself, you will still die in poverty. <laughs> this is becoming stronger now. I can sense quietness everywhere. But that's the truth. The children of Israel, Moses chose 12. He said, go into the land that is flowing with milk and honey. We've not seen it before. We've not, we've not experienced it. God said it. He said, there is a land flowing with milk and honey. In this arid zone of the desert, there is a land that is flowing with milk and honey. He said, okay, let 12 men go and spy the land. And then 10 out of the 12 came back and said, of a truth, we saw the land. We saw the land. In other words, God is faithful. We know God. God is awesome. 
God is faithful. He does what he says. Anything God says, God is faithful to stand by what he has said. We saw the land. They are tested to the faithfulness of God. The church is filled with people who know God, but never know themselves. That's the problem. That's why the devil looks powerful. That's why witches and wizards are trading on ignorance of people. They said God is faithful. We saw the, the cucumber. They were large like football. They said Moses, the oranges are so large. Hey, God is there. God is there. Having said everything about God. Moses now said, okay, when do we go? They said, no, wait. Let us tell you what we discovered about ourselves. He said, we saw giants there. The giants are so tall, so big. And we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. You see? Do you know how much that offended God? Do you know God does not clap for you because you know him? When you don't know who you are. You can never maximize your potentials if you don't know who you are. Oh God. May God help you to understand what I'm saying. But the church of the living God is filled with people who are very theological. They know so much about God. They can describe Jesus, but never tasted of his grace. The woman that had issue of blood for 12 years in Mark chapter 5, do you know why she suddenly came out of her house? The law prohibits her coming to the public. Oh, you got to know that in Leviticus chapter 15, the Bible says when a woman is seeing her blood and is, it exceeds eight days, that that woman is under a curse. That woman should not come out, that woman should not touch anybody's belonging or else whatsoever she touches is unclean. So everybody runs from her. That was why that woman was kept in that condition for 12 years. Because the law held her down. The law disgraced her. The law dehumanized her. So she was there for 12 years. The Bible says in, in Mark chapter 5, if you read from verse, I think 15 or 25, it said, and the woman heard of Jesus. She heard of Jesus. She didn't hear about Jesus. No. She received something that Jesus brought to the earth. She had something of Jesus. In other words, she received something of Jesus. Took something from Jesus. What, what was that? What did she take from Jesus? And that determines the level of your operation with God. Grace. In John chapter 1, verse 17, the Bible said the law came through Moses. The law that oppresses man came through a man. It is man that is man's wickedness. It is a man that is another man's predicament. The law came through Moses, meaning the law that can keep you in bondage is being orchestrated by men like you. Men Show me a woman. She has no child for 15 years. There are men behind it. Jesus says, every man's predicament are the workings of his own household. Wicked men. Have you not read in Ezekiel chapter 11, where some 25 men went and were telling, declaring to the city, say, this city shall not prosper. 25 men. And God told Ezekiel, he said, prophesy against them. Man, the word liar in wickedness. Man, that 
woman was there for 12 years because somebody was orchestrating her oppression. That is why I come to speak tonight and say to somebody, after this night, the hand of God shall deliver you mysteriously. If your amen can be very loud, it will start this night. There is no other method for deliverance other than his word. The word of God, the church of Jesus should appreciate the word of God. Prophecy is good, but the word of God is superior. Am I talking to somebody here? Everything will pass away. Thy word endure it forever. If you are wordless, you are worthless. If you are wordless, you are worthless. Know the word. Eat the word. You know what Job said? The Bible speaks of Job. He said Job is the most reasonable person among the whole of the continent of the east. Reasonable man. Prosperous man. God said, he said there is nobody like Job. That's the testimony of Jehovah. He said there is nobody like Job. Now, the question is, what was the secret of Job? You know what Job said? He said, I esteem your word. I esteem your word more than the necessary food of my mouth. That's the secret of Job. That woman was shot in her cubicle for 12 years. Never came out. The spirit of inferiority is upon the people who never have grace. Hear me? We may be age mates, but we may not be grace mates. What determines superiority is not age, it's grace. Can I speak to somebody here? This night, God is increasing your grace to a tremendous dimension. Receive grace in the name of Jesus. Your amen is weak. I said, receive grace in Jesus' name. She had of Jesus. Oh, goodness. And when she had of grace, she received grace. She knew the, the meaning of grace. She studied the dichotomy between law and grace. And she came out. She came out. Bold. Grace emboldens you. Titus chapter 2 verse 11. He said the grace of God has appeared to all men. Teaching us. Teaching us. Grace is a teacher. He will teach you to take your place. Grace. She came out. And she said. Now look at what she said. If I can touch his garment. I shall be well. We are talking of the Jabez generation. They are people who discovered themselves. Who became, they ask questions, who am I? Who do you ask? You don't ask men. No man can define you. Are they hear what I'm talking about? No spiritual man can define you. Who do you ask? Ask the Bible. <laughs> ask the scriptures. The definition of your destiny. Is at the mercy of the scriptures. Ask the scriptures. Who am I? <laughs> In John chapter 5, verse 39, the Bible says, Search the scripture. Search the scripture. They are the things that testify. They testify of me, of you. They testify. Search the scripture. If you don't search it, listen, if you don't have time to search the scripture, the devils will have time to search your destiny. Search the scripture. Search it. We are born again by the incorruptible seed of the word of God. So you are born by the word, you grow by the word, you become established by the word, you prosper by the word, you enter heaven by the word. The word is everything you need. See, I hear. Shout it louder. See, I hear. The word. Search 
the scripture. <laughs> he said, for in them, for in them, you will think, you will correct your thought. You will correct your thought pattern from the world. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so he becomes. So he becomes. Not as a man prayeth. You can pray a million dollar prayer and end up a pauper. Because it's not as you pray it, it's as you think it. So while you are busy praying, also correct your thinking by the word of God. The word of God. So, Jabez asked question. Do you know that when that woman came out of her house and she said, if I touch his garment, I shall be well. She was smelling. She was going with the other. She was moving. You may be smelling, but keep going. Things may be difficult in your life, but keep going. If you know who you are, you know there is no bus stop in life. Keep going. Keep moving. Let whosoever wants to laugh, laugh. Keep going. Let them insult you. Your result will soon punish your insult. Am I talking to somebody here? What you need to cure your insult is your result. You don't answer critics. You show your result. When results come on board, every insult will disappear. Am I talking to somebody here? The woman kept going. She kept going. She said, if I touch his garment, I shall be well. In other words, there was no faith when there was no grace. Check your Bible. Nobody was healed in the Old Testament except the prophet priest. Men of God, is that not so? Nobody was healed in the Old Testament without the intervention of a prophet. But in the New Testament, you can be healed. In your room. Kenneth Hagin was 17. He was paralyzed. And he got his healing inside the bedroom. The father and the mother went to church. They will leave him in the house. With a small Bible. And he read Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Whatsoever you desire in your heart. When you pray. Believe you have received it. You have it. That was how the guy got up from bed. And was moving in the room. The parents came as normal to open the door to see him on the bed, but the guy was jumping, welcoming them. Grace makes faith possible. Don't forget that. That your life is at the mercy of your faith. Jabez asked question, who am I? You want to know who you are? Ask the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Don't assume I am born again, everything will work well. No. Many born again will just suffer for nothing because they don't know who they are. They, don't, they didn't ask questions. Ask questions. Jabez asked the elders. <laughs> you know what the Bible says? He said, ask thy elders. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 7. He said, ask the fathers. In the Old Testament, they ask the fathers. In the New Testament, they ask the Bible. You must find out who you are. You are pregnant, you are about to deliver. Find out what God says about delivery of a child. Find out from the Bible. You want to go into business, ask the scripture. The Bible says, blessed is the man that sitteth not in the seat of the scornful, standeth not in the way of sinners, walketh not in the path of the wicked. He says his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his word does he meditate day and night. He says it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You want your ministry to grow? Ask the Bible, what should I do? He will tell you, don't sit, don't stand, don't walk on the path of the wicked. Separate yourself. You want your business to grow? He will ask the Bible. He will tell you, be like a tree planted.
planted by the rivers of water. Meditate on the word of God day and night. Day and night. The Bible will give you the blueprint of your destination. Ask question about what you are, who you are, your oppressions. Oh God. Ask questions. There is no failure in God's agenda. There is no failure in God's agenda. Faithful is he that called you and he will perform it. Am I talking to somebody here? Ask question. The call of God is not only to be a pastor. When you are about to get married, you are called into marriage. So, when you are called into marriage, you enjoy a fruitful life of marital bliss. Ask question. You want to go into business, they call it. Enter business with a root of joy and success. Are you catching what I'm saying? Jabez asked questions. Who am I? I'm 40 years old now. No house, no wife, no children. Jabez was concerned and he asked the elders. The Bible gave us a blueprint of solving satanic problems. He said, ask thy fathers. Ask them who you are. Ask them what is your presence of God in my life. Ask thy fathers. Deuteronomy 32 verse 7. But in the New Testament, we no longer ask fathers. We ask the Bible. We ask the scriptures. So, lazy people can never enter destiny. Because they don't have time to sit with the Bible. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You see? It didn't say shall not depart from your hand. Because you can hold it and not read it. It shall not depart from your mouth. Thou shalt meditate on it day and night. Day and night. For in it, you may observe to do. You observe to do. So, the scripture gives you work to do. You can't do the Bible and end up a pauper. He said, you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success from the Bible. Say amen to that. So Jabez asked, who am I? Do you know what he discovered from the question? Do you know why Jabez prospered? Somebody whose mother called him sorrow and he was useless for a 40 years running. Uh, and suddenly, Jabez, are you not surprised that the Bible introduced Jabez as a man of sorrow? And then the next verse, in, in First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9, in verse 10, he said, and Jabez called upon the God his father. He called upon the God of his father. He called upon the Lord his God. Jabez, how could you be poor yesterday and today you are calling? It's not a sequence. It's not something that happened today, tomorrow. Jabez was sorrowful for 40 years. When he was tired of suffering, he now asked questions. Listen to me. There are some levels you are. You may not live there for a long time if you don't ask the Bible what to do. You know what he discovered from the question? Can I tell you what he discovered? He discovered that he was a Jew, a Judah. He was from Judah. He was a Judean. Jabez discovered that he was a Judean. Sir, that has a lot to do with your destiny. Jesus said, I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. That means all of us, we are from Judah. We are from spiritual Judah. We are, we are Juno brothers of Jabez. By destiny of the blood of Jesus, we are all Judeans. Can I tell you about Judah? When Jacob was about to die, he called his 12 sons and prophesied on them. He called Reuben. He said, you are unstable as water. 
You say you will never prevail. You will never excel. You will not prosper. That was the first song. It cost him. Why? Because the boy slept with Jacob's wife. He slept with his stepmother. So it cost him. That one left and became useless. And then he took number two. Simeon, he said, you are wicked. You are cruel. Eh? You went and finished a whole city because your sister that didn't keep herself, they defied her. So you are wicked. It cost that one. He took the third one. He cost him. And then he came to Judah, the fourth born. And he looked at him and said, Judah, he said, you are the man that everyone shall praise. He looked at Judah. He said, Judah, he said, from your loins, kings will come. In other words, any person that comes from you shall be a king. Your lineage shall be royal. You carry a royal blood. That was why David came from there. The most ideal king in Israel, who reigned for 40 years, fought 68 battles, never failed one, came from Judah. Came from Judah. That is where we come from. Jesus came from Judah. He called himself the lion of the tribe of Judah. Jabez discovered he was from Judah. Oh God of heaven. Listen, the essence of Christianity is not just go to church, close, come back, go to church, close, come back, pay tight, go. That is not the essence of Christianity. The essence of Christianity is to live a victorious life on this earth. To be productive. To maximize the destiny. Because you don't have it forever. Any time from now, God can call anybody home. But when you march majestically to the gate of heaven, the angels will be praising you because you maximized your destiny on earth. Am I talking to somebody here? Discover who you are. That's the number two. Jabez discovered that he was from Judah. Number three, and then I round off. Jabez, you know what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 27 verse 40. That is a scripture that was applicable to the life of Jabez. Genesis chapter 27 verse 40. Look at what the Bible says. It said, and by thy sword thou shalt live. I'd like you to mark every word in this scripture. Because this is not law. Till today it applies. The blood of Jesus Christ has made this scripture valid. Hmm. By thy sword, thou shalt live. The sword is the word of God. Your discovery, your revelation is what determines your height in the kingdom of God. You can never be better than your revelation. What you know is what determines what you eat in this kingdom of God. I'm telling you the truth. What you know, the sharpness of your brain from scripture is, oh God, if you read Daniel, don't close this, leave this for us. Leave this scripture, we are coming back to it. But if you read Daniel chapter 9, verse 2, Daniel said, I, Daniel, I discovered by books. I discovered from the word of God. I discovered our freedom from the word of God. That God told Judah, you will go into captivity for 70 years. And when the 70 years is over, I the Lord, I will bring you back again to your city. I will, ex I will extol you. I will lift you. And now 70 years was getting over. The Judeans didn't know that their freedom has come. And I, Daniel, discovered by books. Oh God. Oh God. Do you know that the children of Israel stayed in bondage for 430 years? Because nobody discovered. They were supposed to stay for 40, 400 years. But 30 years added because of ignorance. Listen to me. You are in your best year. I don't know who I'm talking to here. I'm not just preaching. I'm not just talking what God's word. I am prophesying. This is 
is your best year. Oh, come on, you are weak. I said, this is your best year. And by thy sword, thou shall live. And thou shalt serve thy brother for a while. Thou shalt serve thy brother. Can you see what God is saying? Life begins from the downside. Thou shalt serve thy brother. So people end their lives there. They never become great. They kept serving. The service here is not the serving of ministry. It's the serving of inferiority. You become inferior for a start. Even though thy beginning was small, thy later end shall greatly increase. But some people never leave beginning. They never leave beginning. At 50, they are still in the beginning. Eh? At 70, before they die, finally, they are still in the beginning. At 89, they are still in the beginning. Leave your beginning. Enter into destiny. Oh God, if I be a man of God, I declare to this house, everyone hearing me, today marks the beginning of your journey to destiny. If you believe that, say I receive it. He said, and by thy sword, by the word of God, thou shalt live, and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass. When thou have the dominion, when thou have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from thy neck. When you have the dominion, break his yoke from your neck. Oh, come on. When you have the dominion, I wish I'm talking to people who want to make progress, who want to, who are believing God. This level is old. I want to enter the new level. Do I have such people in this house? Hey, hey. I'm looking for people. I want to preach you into your destiny. I want to preach you into moving upward. Men will celebrate you. I said this world will celebrate you. In the name of Jesus, you will never know sorrow anymore. You will never know crying anymore. You will move upward without your effort. Without your struggle, you will go upward. You are going upward. Somebody say, I'm going upward. I'm going upward. Can you jump and say, I'm going upward. When you shall have the dominion, break his yoke from your neck. I studied up to five translations. To know the meaning of dominion. Look at what different translation says. So that you know what God is saying. Number one. I saw from amplified version. He said, when you grow. When you grow, break the devil. Break poverty. When you grow. When you grow. Oh. Are you catching what I'm saying? One of the antidote of stagnancy in Christianity is growth. When you grow spiritually, when you grow mentally, when the word of God has circumcised your heart, when you see from another perspective, when you are like a David, they say there is a Goliath. You say, no, it's not a Goliath. It's an uncircumcised Philistine. You have another eye. You have another perception. You see things differently. You don't see impossibility. You see the invisible and do the impossible. When you grow, nothing is difficult for you. You can start a business with a thousand kana city and end up a millionaire. Nothing is difficult. Where you are is not who you are. You are better than your environment. You are better than the people. You are better than the government. You are better than the oppression. Can I hear somebody shout hallelujah? Oh, don't be a church member that is not growing. I love CEM. How much have you grown from CEM? Grow. There are certain problems that will come when pastor is not there, when the administrator is not there, when church pastors are not there. You face it headlong and tell that devil, I have grown above this. Can I, can I shock you? Can I just bust your bubble? The Bible says, uh, 
that when a man planted a good seed in the night, an enemy came and sowed bad seed. Now look at the story. He said the servant woke up the next morning. The servant, mark that word, the servant woke up the next morning. The man with low mentality woke up the next morning. The man that is not growing woke up the next morning and was the person that saw it first and then cried to his master, Master, the man that has superiority, the man that controls events, the man that has the spirit of Christ, he was sitting there at home, but unperturbed, undisturbed. And then the servant came, Master, did we not sow good seed in our land? How come there are bad seed? And the master said, the enemy has done this. Can I shock you? The servant said, let us go and uproot the bad seed at once. Do you know that people who are not growing always want to uproot problem at once? Have you noticed that when problems persist in the life of some people, they run away from church. Because they are looking for where it will be uprooted at once. Maybe you have not observed that it takes spiritual maturity to stay in the problem for long. People like to see problem uprooted at once. They have servant mentality. <laughs> the master said, no, you don't uproot like that. Hey, hear me. There are certain problems in your life that prayer cannot handle. It is your growth that will handle them. I'm telling you the truth. I wish, are you following me at all? There are certain problems in your life that will naturally grow as you grow. They will naturally go, rather, as you grow. They will go. They will go. Because you are growing. When I was a child, now look at what he said. When I was a child, I speak as a child. Eh? I taught as a child. When I was a child, I speak before I think. Before I understood. Okay, let's range it. If you read your Bible, First Corinthians chapter 13. He said, when I was a child, I speak as a child, I understood as a child, and I taught as a child. That means... He already spoke before he understood what he spoke, before he even taught what he understood. That's slavery mentality. They talk anyhow. In the day that you grow, you break the yoke of darkness from your life. <laughs> that scripture is deep, man. That scripture in Genesis chapter 27 verse 40 is deep. When Isaac gave that scripture to Esau, he gave him a life assignment. When I was a child, look at the characteristic of a baby. Baby Christian. They may be in the foundation from the beginning of the church, but they are still not growing. I spoke as a child. Then I understood what I spoke yesterday. And then I came to think what I already understood day before yesterday. So they begin by talking before they understood. And then because they think. But when I became a man, the reverse. I taught. I understood what I taught. And I speak. So growth is one of the greatest arrow against Satan. So from today, grow. <laughs> Boy. Finally, in New Living Translation, the word dominion is restless. He said, when you become restless, break his yoke from your neck. Whenever you become restless, listen, one of the greatest gifts of the Holy Spirit is to make you restless. Do you know there are certain things you can endure for a while? 
we taken it, no child one year, no child two years, no child three years, no child four years. It will come to a point. You say, no, I can't take this anymore. When you become restless, not when you become worried. No. When you become restless, when it appears to you, it is this year, 2016, 33 days, 32 days to finish this year. God must do the miracle in my life. There is a knowing that my miracle is now. That is restlessness. When you become restless, you break the yoke. No matter who planted that yoke, even if you were born with it, your restlessness will remove it. I speak to somebody today. In the next 25 days, you will see yourself at the top. If you are the one that has that prophecy, jump on your feet and say, I receive it. You will see yourself at the top. Lift your right hand to heaven. The devil is no more at your right hand. God is at your right hand. Somebody say, God is at my right hand. The Bible says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Lift your right hand and say, my father. I want to hear your shout at the back. Say, my father. This is my day. Every blockade in my life. Every satanic mandate. What are you waiting for? By the power of the Holy Ghost. I command you to crumble. If you can pray this prayer, you will see a miracle in your life. I'm speaking by the Spirit of the living God. If you open your mouth and say these things with power, you will see a miracle in your life. Lift your right hand one more time. Say, my father, every blockade, every impediment to my destiny, today, today. by the Jabez anointing, I pull them down. I pull them down. I break them down. I break them down. Prayer. Ah. I break them down. By the power of God. I break them down. I break them down. I cannot be small. I refuse to be small. I refuse to be at the back. I refuse to remain poor. I break them down. Let my destiny Let my destiny This is your chance 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 Take your destiny Take your destiny. Take your destiny. Father, we break them down, God. In the name of Jesus. Now look at this. As we're praying, the Lord said, Step out of that room of slavery. You are stepping out. Every smallness, you are stepping out. Every limitation, you are stepping out. Jesus, I didn't hear you. I said you are stepping out. Jesus, this is prophetic. You are going to step out. That woman stepped out of that room Jesus, of blood for 12 years. Somebody say, my father. My father I step out from today. Every smallness, every limitation, every, limitation, every spiritual prison, every, every, I step out, step out by the power of God. Power of I God. move to my destiny. Open your mouth and prophesy. I step out, Lord, by the power of God. I enter. I Father, we step out to God from every program, every limitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, we take our praise. Rakata Yandarama. We must shoot Yandarama. Rakata Yandarama. We must shoot the enemy. Rakata Yandarama. We must shoot the enemy. Rakata Yandarama. We must shoot the enemy. 
Dry bones shall live again. You are going to prophesy and command that dry bones uh, to live again. God is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Open your mouth and say, Father, that bones shall live again. Every dry bones in my life begin to live right now. They begin to live right now. Father, we prophesy tonight, O God, over every dry bones in our lives, O God. Ah, we command them, Lord, to live again. Dry bones. Dry bones. Live again. Our finances, our health, our ministries. We command them, Lord, to rise again. To live again. My family. My ministries. Receive life. Lift your two hands to heaven. I command in the name of Jesus. Lift your two hands to heaven. Whatsoever is a dry bone that is presented before the Lord. These 32 days remaining to finish 2016. I declare they shall live again. Amen. They shall live again. Amen. Receive life in your business. We receive, receive it. life in your family. We receive it. Receive life in your body. We receive it. Receive life in your career. We receive it. Receive life in your ministry. We receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There shall be no stagnancy anymore. Amen. There shall be no stagnancy anymore. Hallelujah. There shall be no sorrow anymore. Amen. From Jabez of sorrow, you have entered Jabez of honor. Amen. You have entered Jabez of honor. Amen. Jabez of honor. Amen. Somebody shout honor. Honor. So shall it be. Amen. Give Jesus a mighty clap of praise. Amen. Thank you, Father. You came with your envelope for the seed. Please just step to the altar. Just step to the altar and drop it right now and say, Father. I'm entering my honor. I enter my place of honor. As you drop the envelope, you speak to the Lord. I enter my place of honor. I enter my place of honor. Speak by faith. The Bible says, by the word of your mouth, you are justified. I enter the place of honor. Just say it and leave the altar. I enter the place of honor. Honor in my life. Honor in my life. Kappa Shaladabuska. Lega brada babaya santala da boche lega brokata paya te setia e kusa du su su lega suta ida da baya i enter the place of honor the place of honor the place of honor no more shame in my life no more disgrace in my family i enter the place of honor by the power of the living god maka pashela da bosa lega brakata baba no more stoppage no more blockade 
I enter the place of honor. This is my year. Between now and 32 days, God will visit me. There is a divine visitation. I will enter 2017 gloriously. Holy Spirit of God, have your way in my life. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my business. Have your way in my destiny. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It is well. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Father. If you were not here yesterday, we gave a seed. We gave a seed to actualize this generation of Jabez. We gave a seed to actualize it. You can take a seed right now and come to the altar and just take an envelope and slip it in or you just drop the seed there. Just take a seed in your hand. If you were not here yesterday, make sure this prayer, you sow into it. You sow into this revelation. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Do that quickly. No more smallness, no more smallness, no more smallness, no more narrowness, no more narrowness in my life uh, by the power of God, by the power of God. Things are changing. I am entering my destiny. I move, I move uh, into greater height, greater height, greater height in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, glory be to your name. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we stand in you only because you move mountains, you call walls with your power. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for all these offerings and the seed of your people. We ask for your hand of blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. What do we say to the bishop? Hallelujah. Have you been blessed tonight? Come on, let's put our hands together unto the Lord. That was powerful. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow, God willing, uh, Reverend Kofi Odro will be here. Let's come and receive from the Lord. Somebody say Amen. Don't forget tomorrow morning we have the morning service at the Travelling Chapel from 9 to 12 and then in the evening from 6 to 9 we are here. And then on Friday we have the all night service with Prophet Danso. Let's be here and I, 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 I believe that God will minister unto us and our lives will never be the same. Can I hear somebody say amen? Let's rise to our feet as we close the service. Your hands are lifted unto him. All right. The messages are ready. So uh, you can go to the information desk and then buy a copy. Amen. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. The Lord bless and keep you. May his face shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. And the Lord forever give you peace. As you go from this place, may the Lord grant you traveling mercies. As you are walking to your various home, may the Lord also go with you. May the Lord watch over us tonight. May his hand of preservation rest upon our lives. We pray over you and your family. That if there is any rise of the enemy against your life, may Jehovah your God rise and destroy them in the name of Jesus. May the Lord cause you to see another glorious day tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray.